Today, Rinpoche gave a very clear explanation of the causes and conditions for realizing the mind that aspires to enlightenment. Okay, so if everybody uh, would like to turn to the prayer, the source of all my good in your prayer book, uh, turn to page 40, uh, and we're going to start uh, right at the section where we find the um, great capacity teachings um, as a note. Uh, so it's on page 40. Uh, I have slipped and fallen into the sea of this suffering life is where we will begin. Okay, so uh, we'll begin with this stanza. I have slipped and fallen into the sea of this suffering life. Bless me to see that every living being, everyone my own mother, has fallen into. Grant me then to practice the wish for enlightenment, to take on myself the task of freeing them all. Uh, so this is where we find the beginning of the uh, great vehicle teachings in this uh, source of all my good. Chibi So the real root uh, of these teachings is what is called the Tisha's Lamp for the Path to Enlightenment. Uh, and what that text explains are the, were the pathways for beings of three capacities, the pathways for beings of small capacity, the pathways for beings of medium <coughs> capacity, and the pathways for beings of great capacity. Uh, so these pathways lead to very specific results. Um, so the lamp for the path to enlightenment encompasses uh, the meaning uh, of these three pathways uh, and all of the stages of the path texts explain that same material. So uh, what are these pathways? The teachings, uh, the pathways for beings of small capacity are pathways which lead to the higher realms. So by going for refuge to the three jewels, engaging in the ethics that abandons non-virtues, and acknowledging one's downfalls, one is able to have a higher realm rebirth, and these are the pathways for beings of small capacity, Atisha explains in the lamp again. Uh, the pathways for beings of medium capacity are those pathways which are for a practitioner who wishes to achieve liberation or wishes to achieve his or her own nirvana. Uh, and these are, are these practices that allow him her or her to achieve those goals are called the three highest higher trainings, the highest higher training in ethics, concentration, and wisdom. Uh, so these are the pathways for beings of medium capacity that lead to liberation. Uh, the pathways for beings of great capacity are pathways which lead to complete Buddhahood. And these are pathways which require the mind that aspires to enlightenment in order to be uh, um, uh, realized, in order to achieve complete Buddhahood. Uh, so uh, that is a, a, as a, a note, a summary of the three pathways explained in the Tisha's Lamp for the Path to Enlightenment and therefore explained in these texts. <laughs> So Atisha's Lamp for the Path to Enlightenment uh, contains all of the teachings that we find in the Kangjur, the pronouncements of Lord Buddha, and the Tanjur, the authentic Indian commentaries. Uh, so just as all of the water in the world uh, and rivers and so forth end up in the ocean, 
uh, the, it is said that the Kangjur and Tanjur, uh, all of those classic texts flow uh, like the, all of the waters in the world into the ocean, into the lamp for the path to enlightenment. Uh, so we find in um, Lama Tsongkhapa's uh, abbreviated stages of the path uh, where he um, states just that. Uh, he says, um, uh, because they collect the stream of thousands of excellent classics, they are indeed an ocean of illustrious correct explanation. Uh, so here this as a note is referring to uh, the stages of the path teachings uh, um, of Lord Atisha presents. Um, so uh, um, Dixon. Um, and also it's similar in the prayer that we recite where it says I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha through the merit I create by practicing giving and the other perfections may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of of all sentient beings uh, um, is this mind that aspires to enlightenment that we're speaking of. Um, so, in the great treatise on the stage of the path to enlightenment, uh, when we look at the section called Training the Mind in the Stage of the Path for Beings of Great Capacity, we find that the outline is broken down into three categories. Uh, first, showing uh, how the development of the spirit of enlightenment is the only entrance into the Mahayana. Uh, so this is the first category. The second category is how one actually develops the spirit of enlightenment or how one develops bodhicitta. Uh, and then the third category is how to learn the uh, bodhisattva deeds uh, or the bodhisattva activities uh, after one develops bodhicitta or develops the spirit of enlightenment. So these are the three categories in the great treatise that deal with uh, the stanza that we just presented. So then when we go to the next, that second category, uh, uh, which is how you develop the spirit of enlightenment, Lama Tsongkhapa breaks that down into four categories. First, how the spirit of enlightenment depends upon certain causes. Uh, second category is uh, the stages of training uh, in the spirit of enlightenment, or the stages uh, 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 that one must go through to achieve the, the mind that aspires to enlightenment or to achieve bodhicitta. Uh, the measure of producing bodhicitta or the measure of producing the spirit of enlightenment. Uh, and then how to adopt the spirit of enlightenment through a ritual or how to get uh, this uh, mind that aspires to enlightenment, how to get bodhicitta through a ritual. So now we're going to go over the category of how the spirit of enlightenment depends on certain causes uh, to arise. Um, so we want to go through this section very thoroughly um, uh, and, and look at the, the various categories. So there are three categories that we find in this section of, uh, of, of how this, the mind that aspires to enlightenment uh, depends upon specific causes. Uh, so first, it's development of the spirit of enlightenment or development of bodhicitta through the four conditions. Uh, next is development of the mind that aspires to enlightenment or bodhicitta through the four causes. Uh, and then the third category is the development of uh, um, the spirit of enlightenment or bodhicitta through the four powers. Uh, so the, the four strengths or four powers. Uh, so these are the three categories under that first heading of, of how that spirit of enlightenment depends upon causes. Decent. 
Um, so this first category is uh, achieving or developing the mind that aspires to enlightenment uh, through the four conditions. So what are conditions? Uh, so conditions are the things that are necessary in order for an arisal. So if we look at, uh, for instance, a seed and a sprout, uh, the cause of a sprout is the actual seed. But the conditions that are necessary for that seed to sprout are, for instance, the water, uh, the light, uh, you know, and, and uh, the earth itself, the dirt itself. So these are the conditions that are necessary in order for that sprout to, to take place. But the actual cause of it is the, the seed itself. So these are what uh, conditions are. Dixon. Uh, so we're going to first go over uh, these four conditions. So in these three uh, sections, we begin with the four conditions. So we'll go over that uh, first. Tumala <laughs> To <laughs> Um, so we'll begin with the first condition among the four. So the development of the spirit of enlightenment through the four conditions. Page 22 in volume 2, if anybody has that. You develop the spirit of enlightenment either by seeing for yourself the inconceivable power of the Buddhas or Bodhisattvas or by hearing about them from a reliable person and then thinking, this enlightenment in which they abide or which they pursue is very powerful. Um, so recognizing the power of this Buddhahood that the um, Bodhisattvas um, are trying to achieve is. Uh, so either by thinking from your own side about this or hearing, uh, um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, either seeing for yourself uh, the inconceivable power that these Buddhas and Bodhisattvas have or hearing about it from someone you uh, find reliable um, 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 and, then, and then recognizing just how powerful um, this, this kind of pursuit is uh, and, and kind of um, seeing the significance of it. So this becomes one of the conditions that's necessary in order for one to have this arisal of bodhicitta, the mind that aspires to enlightenment. Uh, so this is number one. This is the first condition. So it's saying that I recognize that the Buddhas, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas have all of this power, and I like this myself and want this for myself. Uh, so um, uh, this, this kind of affinity for, this liking. Uh, um, for the power that the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas have becomes this first condition. Um, 
And the Lana may be shan to let some be denuny but na Sanjiji Shila Mun and Sanji Badas. Yeah, what the change in the name was the put Pushamo ten, can you change Pushamo Lune? And eh, what the Pushano Lule? And eh, shan to sell some be denuny but na Sanjiji Shila Mun has and then the Sanjiji Shigi so the second condition is as follows. Although you may have not seen or heard of such power in this way, as described before, you can develop the spirit by listening to the scriptural collections, which take unsurpassed enlightenment as a point of departure, and then... Uh, aspiring to the sublime wisdom of a Buddha. So here this is through relying on uh, the actual scriptures themselves, the Kangjur, the Tanjur. Uh, so hearing about these powers that the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas have uh, in these texts will also serve as this condition for the arisal of the mind that aspires to enlightenment. <laughs> And the Uh, So number, the third condition, although you may not have heard the teachings, you can develop the spirit by uh, understanding that the excellent teaching of the Bodhisattvas is about to disappear. And then thinking, I will definitely develop the spirit of enlightenment so that the Bodhisattva teaching will remain for a long time, because the existence of such teaching removes suffering from innumerable living beings. So recognizing that um, if the, the teachings are, are lost, and specifically the, the teachings on the Bodhisattva path, if these teachings decline and are lost, then, it, you, one, then innumerable amounts of beings will not be helped and will not have their suffering removed. Um, so recognizing this and recognizing that um, this, the, the existence of the teaching um, and it remaining for a long time will be able to remove the suffering of beings. So in order to propagate these teachings, in order for them to remain, one decides to uh, um, achieve this mind that aspires to enlightenment, to be able to carry on these teachings. Uh, and this serves as the third condition uh, for the arisal of the mind that aspires to enlightenment, uh, recognizing that the decline would would make it so numerable sentient beings couldn't be helped. So you take it upon yourself to um, actually propagate these teachings by way of realizing the mind that aspires to enlightenment. Tamu Yomares, 
ne vodde ne ge da ki sen ji ne ne sen ji ba ina te ba che mi sen sha ju sen ji ba ina sha ju sen ju li ji ba ina ne ka za jen da ta ta ju ro cha ne sen ji o ge che ji ba te re Leso, uh, so number four, although you have not seen the decline of the teaching, uh, so this is the fourth condition, I'm sorry, although you have not seen the decline of the teaching, you think it is difficult to generate the spirit of enlightenment of even a Shravaka or Prachika Buddha in these terrible times in which there is a preponderance of ignorance, shamelessness, lack of embarrassment, jealousy, stinginess, and the like, then what need is there to mention developing the spirit of highest enlightenment? If I were at some point to develop the spirit of enlightenment, others would surely follow. Thus you generate the spirit of enlightenment through seeing the difficulty required to development. So one recognizes that during these uh, um, terrible times, even um, getting the mind generation of a hearer or a prachika Buddha is very difficult. Um, so because in this world there's more people have an affinity for shamelessness, stinginess, jealousy, uh, miserliness, and so forth. So recognizing how difficult uh, it is to achieve, um, you set out to achieve it so that one could serve as a, almost a, a role model or as a model to these other beings who are, um, have these affinities for all of these negativities uh, and then, then, then uh, hoping that others will then uh, change in the same way. So to, to kind of serve as a, a model or a role model, developing this mind that aspires to enlightenment. Uh, um, um, just let me back up. Recognizing that during these times, the, the generation of this mind that aspires to enlightenment uh, in the Mahayana uh, is e extremely difficult because even generating the mind generation of a hearer, a prachik Buddha, is difficult. Um, so it's much harder to develop the mind generation of the Mahayana. Um, so recognizing um, that this difficulty is because so um, we have so many much affinity for all of these negativities, one generates it in order to be a role model. So this is a fourth condition, this kind of idea that one wants to be uh, a model of this mind that aspires to enlightenment, so others will follow. Deeks and Rinpoche. <laughs> Shantu Chambo, Shantu Chambo, Saint Jeba, Shantu Saint Jeba, Jay Sombe, Shantu Tundu Chebos, Ta Saint Jess in the Garzana, and the Saint Jan Taji, the Saju Gubantu was our Nabe, Saint Jeba La, Saint Jelogres. Shantu Chambo, Saint Jess, Saint Jess, Jay Sombe. So then J. Rinpoche, Lama Tsongkhapa, then expands upon what was just presented. Concerning how the spirit of enlightenment arises from these four conditions, it is said that they inspire you to attain in great enlightenment, so a desire to attain, to attain enlightenment arises. Uh, so then it says the ways in which this happens is as follows. Um, so enlightenment is a desire to become a Buddha for the sake of all sentient beings. Um, so it says that uh, the reason that you look at these four conditions is because they would inspire you to uh, um, achieve the fullest enlightenment. <laughs> So then uh, there's an expansion on the meaning of each of these four. So the first is as follows. After you see or hear about supernormal powers, you are awed, thinking, I will attain such an enlightenment and then generate the spirit of enlightenment or bodhicitta. So this goes with number one. That's 
去年呢，上级级院长，年被上级级院长，不归院长，总院长，头级院长了，是吧？年呢？我们党部代表几个人？来是。代表几？他呢？他到了团队级吧，我是。代表几？那我等于等于俺土工都讲呗，团队级王人是。来是。今年把多等了几人？ So now the second condition, uh, the second point connected to the second condition. Through hearing about the good qualities of a Buddha from an instructor, you first develop faith, and then there arises a desire to attain these qualities. So when we look at the excellent qualities of the Buddha that we could hear about, or the excellent qualities of the Buddha's body, speech, mind, and enlightened activities. Mm. Sanjay-ji-shi-la-thundi-ji-ba-tis. Um, so number three is uh, the third point related to the third condition on finding the thought of the decline of the Mahayana teachings unbearable, unbearable, you develop the desire to attain a Buddha's sublime uh, wisdom. In regard to this last point, you see that if the teaching does not disappear, the suffering of living beings can be stopped. So sentient beings can have their suffering removed if the teaching remains. So even though your objective is indeed to remove suffering, nevertheless, the pr principal condition for the spirit of en uh, for the spirit of enlightenment arising is your inability to bear the fact that the teaching might disappear. Otherwise, this way of developing the spirit of enlightenment would repeat the explanation presented later on in this text of how the spirit arises in dependence on compassion. ジバ、ジンジバで、ドンチ、シャンチュウセンジュリジナ、ドンダチュウシダレス、ドンチ、センデ、ジュリジナ、コンバシダレス、コンバトネ、トウセンデ、キュネ、テイジュシバラテネ
Timela Pumba Dan Tuba Shurua Shurua Le Mabe Randon Ponson Tubaya Mabe Shadan Teda Sibi Goba Le Tayan Si Goba Le Madri Shadans The Randon Ponson Tubane Sanji J. Chujuko Sombicheros Chujuko Sombicheros Water cattle in the same moment, the old to buy you in your war to buy you in your own. Chunding do maneuver, maneuver, goji, chain, kind of maybe the roach. Chunding do maneuver, goji, chain, come maybe. Chunding do two segments. Randon Randon Rubala, she was jumping Chuban Zimbi. Maguba on me this Randon Rubalas Randon de Jedu. That Ranga de Jedu. What the Somagina, Somagina Randon Chasson in my mother's. Nature than Raja Suge and the Dutch of Gomoto Barrette and the Randon Shooter Randon Chasson to your mother's. Randon Rubala and the Shiva Jambi Chuban Zimbi. Ludum Nuba on my eater. Randun Rubala, Shiva Jambi Chuban Zimba, Shiva Jambi Chuban Zimba, Timmy Sumarbe. Let's say. Don't look do many Maguba on my ears, Randun Zubala, what they Timmy somebody do good is do quality to us, Angie, Timmy La, quality to us, Angie, Timmy Dajon Batuini, two Dajon, the Raja Dajon Zuge, no quap monster, no more monster. Ne Timmy La Pomba, the new Mopom Pomba, Tuba Shuru Ale, maybe, Tuba Shuru Ale, maybe, Randon Penson Suba, maybe she danced, Randon Penson Suba Timel, you mares, maybe she danced, Jesenchi Gogundua, the Dalla Sibi Gobale, Tayan, Natur the Raja to the Sibi Gobale Tayan, she Gobale Tayan mares, she be Silla Menes. Nizi shella mene ta so wate oma ka sa ngontu jen ka o sumba kitu le dun doa. Ta da si bi goba le ta yans si bi si la mene si nye tu dan raje tu so tu nye tu bi shera la te ne si ba kuwa le mene ba terwa si bi si la mene si nye si bi goba le ta yans si yi goba le ta yo ma res si yi goba le ma te te ka re zina kuzo Taba tu ta di dawa yo jero ba ta. Tele nyo ba jana keba keba ba te nyo ba jana. Shetal nung te le suwa ta. Shi goba le madri sheta an sa. Shi goba le madri sheta an. Randon pansun soba ne. Swanji ji chui ji. Kusun be jero. Randon pansun soba ta. Swanji ji gore ma tu. Temel yo ma re se ta. Let's say. Okay. So there are. Rinpoche said there's many points that are made here, so we'll go through them. Um, without the desire to attain Buddhahood that comes from cultivating faith in a Buddha's good qualities, you cannot overcome the sense of contentment that thinks peace, nirvana alone, is sufficient to fill your, fulfill your own aims. So here it's stating that when we have these two categories, uh, the fulfillment of one's own aims and then fulfill, <laughs> fulfillment of others' name, um, aims, um, so here it's stating um, that a Hinayana practitioner, whether a hearer or a solitary realizer, has not fulfilled his or her own aims, even if they are a foe destroyer, even if they are in their own nirvana, uh, abiding in peace. Um, so here it's stating why. It will state why. Um, it says... Uh, the desire to attain Buddhahood on account of training in love and compassion and seeing the fulfillment of others' aims as a necessity can eradicate the sense of contentment that thinks your peace alone is sufficient to fulfill others' aims, but cannot stop the sense of contentment that thinks peace is enough for your own aims. Besides this desire to attain Buddhahood that comes from cultivating faith in a Buddha's good quality, there is no uh, other way to stop the sense of contentment that thinks your peace alone is sufficient to fill, fulfill your own aims. Indeed, you do need to overcome the sense of contentment that peace alone is enough to accomplish your own welfare because, one, Hinayana practitioners who are merely liberated from cyclic existence have only 
partial elimination of faults and a partial knowledge and thus lack the perfect fulfillment of their own aim. So here, yes, they have abandoned the afflictive obstructions, but they still have the uh, obstructions to omniscience. So therefore, because they still have obstructions, they have not fulfilled their whole entire uh, set of aims. And because they are um, abiding in peace for a very long time, uh, they um, are... are abiding in an unfulfilled way. Um, so then it says, these practitioners are liberated from the problems of cyclic existence, uh, but not from the problems of peace. So the problem of peace is that you are abiding there for a very long time as a Hinayanist in, in one's nirvana as a faux destroyer, uh, and, uh, and you have this, uh, this attachment to this, hap this kind of bliss, at this kind of peace. It's called abiding in peace. So you stay there for a very long time unfulfilled, um, and it says the problems with peace are, are that, that you abide there unfulfilled. Uh, and it says the perfect fulfillment of one's own aims is said, it is said, is a Buddha's embodiment of truth. Therefore, once you cultivate faith in the good qualities of the Buddha, you will see that you must attain Buddhahood to accomplish even your own aims, let alone the aims of others. Understanding this is important for causing you not to turn back to the Hinayana. So there's a, uh, many points that, that are made about doubts that come up um, relate uh, that within all of these points that are made. Sending <laughs> Among the four developments of the spirit of enlightenment explained above, the first two are not introduced by compassion and love. In other scriptures and treatises as well, uh, there are many explanations of the development of the spirit of enlightenment as the desire to attain Buddhahood induced by just seeing the good qualities of a Buddha's embodiment of truth and embodiment of form. The determination to establish all beings in Buddhahood is also said to be developing uh, development of the spirit. So you must consider each of these two to be counted as simply developments of the spirit of enlightenment. With regard to developing a completely perfect spirit of enlightenment, however, it is not sufficient merely to have the desire to attain Buddhahood upon seeing the necessity of fulfilling others' aims. You must have the desire to attain Buddhahood that sees that it is indispensable even for your own aims. Furthermore, this intention must not neglect others' welfare, but be other, for others' sake as well, because the ornament of clear knowledge uh, talks about both the intention to attain enlightenment and the intention to accomplish others' welfare. It says the development of the spirit of enlightenment is the desire for the perfect enlightenment for others' welfare. So that's the definition in the Abhisama Alamkara of uh, Bodhicitta. <laughs> So here, the development uh, we find in the ornament of the clear knowledge or the ornament for clear realization, again, the development of the spirit of enlightenment is the desire for perfect enlightenment for others' welfare. Um, so uh, one wishes to become a Buddha, achieve perfect enlightenment 
for others' welfare, for the sake of others. And it says that's what the development of bodhicitta is. It's this desire to become a Buddha for others' sake. Um, so... Okay, Okay, um, so when we look at what the object of observation of the mind that aspires to enlightenment is, we say that there are two things that are the objects of observation. First of all, it is uh, Buddhahood, and then secondly, it is the needs of others, or the excuse me, the aims of others, fulfilling the aims of others. So these are the objects of observation of the mind that aspires to enlightenment, becoming a Buddha and also fulfilling others' aims. Uh, and we find this uh, um, explained uh, in a both a condensed way and, and a very expanded way in the 20,000 verse Perfection of Wisdom Sutras. So when we look at the Prajnaparamita um, Sutras, we find that we can divide them into different categories. First, the 100,000 verse Perfection of Wisdom Sutra, the 20,000 verse, and then the 8,000 verse Perfection of Wisdom Sutra. So we find an expanded as well as an abbreviated explanation in the 20,000 verse. Uh, and in the 8,000 verse, we find uh, that as well. In the 8,000 verse, is broken down into eight books. The Nitri Bechigatsudue. There are four books in the 20,000 verse, and then boom. Boom, but the junior. Junior. There are 12 books in the 100,000 verse Perfection of Wisdom Sutra, and we find it uh, explained in a condensed and in, a, in an uh, expanded way uh, throughout these texts. Um, and we find that that object of observation is those two Buddhahood and others' welfare. Are the aims of bodhicitta. Right. Uh, so in, the, uh, in um, the chapter on the mind generation and Panchen Sun Andrapa's uh, general meaning of perfection, uh, we find this explained. Uh, in in a very clear way than the ewa ni yanju sunan tambo ju shiten ba tsheda ne wa sejin tsheje sejin ju shiten ba tsheda to she ba shiten ba tle ju shi jenje to je le ju wa pa ji shi dun se bu yure general particular that's the letter, 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 the let
Where the Pajinson and Drapas collected works, where are they? Oh, oh, I see. There's the, right there. There That's it. Okay. Uma. She didn't need a circle here, right? She didn't need a circle here, right? Okay. That's the land to my use. Okay. She didn't need a circle here, right? She didn't need a circle here, right? Okay. Okay. This one or that one? 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 Okay. So in Penchant Sun Andrapa's general meaning of perfection, you find this explained very well in two different categories. First, the, the generals and then the particulars. So uh, in the generals, we find all of these categories of the causes and, and conditions and strengths and so forth that's explained in uh, Lama Tsongkhapa's work. Uh, so the general meaning of perfections, uh, causes and conditions and these strengths are it's explained in a very clear fashion. But you aren't able to um, get that general meaning of perfection, uh, so you can rely on the great treatise on the stage of the path to enlightenment, because it's not in English yet. ว่าจะกูบอกว่าท่านโอเคถ้าเจ้าเจ้าเจ้าตัวท่านเจ้าเจ้าตัวว่าที่เจ้ามีเดชมุดว่าเจ้าตัวเองเจ้าว่าท่
رنگ توی دو جان تو با دو جان دو جان دو با رنگ تو دانس جنج توی دو جان دو با جنج تو دان من دیگه لا کم با تهدار سانجی دان شانسی جی نه هم با تو با سانجی چه وا چی تو دانس دی دنبا 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 نیچین دنبا تنچین چو چو نه چو نه بالا سوپا سوچی گوالا یاری تو کمپت دل جلا تن چو اس جلا تن چو اس وقت تو جلی چو وقت رن دوا رنگی رنگی تو شانچو تو بند با تا کنده شانچو تو بند دیگه دل. रांता जी सांचू तो बंदे कहीं जीता है ना गेन रामन तो ना लोन ताचू सांचे तो बचे हुए हैं सांचू सेंग गुंग हुए हैं उन्हें लोड वाते जेन तो रहे हैं जेन तो जेन के 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 ताचू पचाते हैं ना सांचू सेंग गुंग हुए आप भी हुए हैं वो तो जेन तो रहे हैं अन्य हम तेरे बच्चे बो हम तेरे बच्चे � हाँ बात तो बात है जी जब जुई तो अन्य जब तो हम में बात होती है शांतु सेन लोगों ने ताता शांतु सांझे तो शांतु सेन भी सेन तो बात है जी अन्य वाते चौंके जो वाते जुई तो रहे कुछ वाह हम लोगों कौन भी जो हम सुनको रहा जुई तो डांस द टाइम बाद ने जी चुनिए ला चुनिए ला सेन बात सोची गवाला � Yudha la, then it shows. That Yudha is going to be the one. Yudha is going to be the one. Tamba Tenjin is a Gishin, Gishin is a Chunyin. Tamba Tenjin is a Chunyin la. Chunyin la. Semba is a Chunyin. Chunyin is a Sanjun. And the Salmon is a Tanyin. Gwa la yun rin to Gumba. And the Yudha is a Tenjin. Senjin is a Tenjin. Yudha is a Tenjin. Jews. Okay, so the development of yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, what did you do? Okay. The do the do the do the. What did you do? Uh, so the development of the spirit through the four strengths. Um, so the development of the spirit through relying on the four strengths. The strength of yourself, the desire to attain perfect enlightenment through your own power. So this is um, your own strength, your own desire to attain Buddhahood. Um, is this first category, which is a strength. The second is the strength of others, desire to attain perfect enlightenment through others' power. So this is through a teacher teaching you um, about the mind that aspires to enlightenment and, and encouraging you to engage in the practices that allow you to achieve it. The strength of the cause, developing the spirit by having been familiar with the Mahayana and now merely hearing praise of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. So this is familiarization that we would have had in our previous lives. We've had beginningless rebirth. So therefore, in previous lives, we have become familiar with uh, this, and then that allows us uh, to uh, generate the mind that aspires to enlightenment um, just by merely hearing uh, um, something, uh, a, a praise of a Buddha or a Bodhisattva kind of sparks your past familiarization. Uh, and then number four is the strength of application in this life being accustomed for a long time to such virtuous activities as relying upon an excellent being and reflecting on the teachings you have heard. So actually applying this uh, um, practices, relying on a teacher, reflecting on the teachings on this, and that allows for this actual strength of reliance allows you to generate the mind that aspires to enlightenment. Deekson Rinpoche. Oh, jeta dano wata sa du hotel ten de shi du hotel to ba yu yin jero. Ta da ten ba shi dan, te ba chen bi yu ten ba no du nye shi se, ta te ba chen bi yu ten ba no du nye wa, ten ba me ba cha ta nye bo, no du nye shi, he ma le jang, che nye ma chu bi du yin de le, ane, du yin de le ba kwa ne, lu te da bi du su, he ma yin ba tu kwa ne, Shina, kone nchi taba ne, senji ba shintu kumba, ane shintu kumba riba sha, shi laas, wate senji ba tishita kumba res, tambi, tambi shinyan la tene, 
So furthermore, Asanga's Bodhisattva level says that after you depend on the four causes and the four conditions, you generate a, whether individually or collectively, you generate a firm spirit of enlightenment if you develop it from your own strength or from the strength of the cause. It is not firm if you develop it from other strength or from the strength of application. Once you have understood well that the teaching in general and the Mahayana teaching in particular are about to disappear and that this time is particularly degenerate, you realize that a spirit of enlightenment developed from the depths of the heart is extremely rare. Rely on an excellent teacher and make an effort to practice studying and reflecting upon the Mahayana scriptural collection and plant the root for the development of the spirit from the depths of your heart not forced by others. So you should um, generate this from your own heart, from your, for uh, the sake of yourself. So you, know, you should um, 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 develop it from your own strength um, after you've recognized this decline and recognized how powerful it is and recognized the excellent qualities um, of the, the Buddhas and so forth um, because that's how it really becomes firm. Um, and it says... Um, um, uh, rely on an excellent teacher and make an effort to practice studying, reflecting upon the Mahayana scriptural collections and plant the root for the development of the spirit of enlightenment from the depths of your heart, not forced by others. This should be from your own side, not forced by anyone else, because if you're forced by others, you don't have the same faith, nor mindlessly follow. You must study these things. You must understand what it means uh, and, and not just blindly follow because others are do it, doing it not through the habit of custom, but through your own strength. All the bodhisattva deeds are necessarily based on it. So the development of this mind that aspires to enlightenment um, is necessary uh, in order for one to achieve the excellent qualities of body, speech, mind, and enlightened activities. Without this generation of the mind that aspires to enlightenment, that's not necessary, and all of the bodhisattva deeds require it. Um, so that's the point that's made here. Dig song Ramache. That's how you never shall do the same job as a mother in law. What the long out to you see that little door? Shall do the same job as a mother? Such a two can be you la mena junior dumatan. Jesse Shawala, you la June, Juma Latene, Juma Niso. Papa Shavala is Jun Latin Jambatan, what they need later. Junior Mara do you go to Saint Jim Sudan? Dajan Yabaji will send you to need later. So uh, the next um, section deals with the stages of training in the spirit of enlightenment. And then there are two categories there training based on the seven point cause and effect personal instructions and the lineage de descended uh, from the great elder, Lord Atisha. 
excuse me, and then the training based on the teachings of uh, Shanti Deva, the conqueror's child Shanti Deva, which are uh, equalizing and exchanging self with others. Uh, so these are the two um, practices that allow one to achieve the mind that aspires to enlightenment. What are they talking about? ตัวนั้นว่าเดลแลมพอดเดอังเกลแลมพอดอังเกลจุบัตเดมายุกุมันว่าจุบัตเทนนิสเจนท่าเจอร์ชาวบีเซนนงฮันดูยิงอาซู
So in the beginning of the text we find the Shravakas and those halfway to Buddhahood are born from the mighty sage. So here we're speaking of the hearers and the solitary realizers are born from the Buddha. It says the Buddhas take their birth from bodhisattva heroes. So the Buddhas are caused by the bodhisattvas. It says compassion, duality, the wish for Buddhahood for others' sake are the causes of the children of the conqueror. Um, so uh, um, here uh, there's another point that's similar uh, made in uh, Chandrakirti's entrance to the middle way. Mm-hmm. Um, so this section is broken down into two categories. First, developing the certainty about the order of the stages, and then the next category is the gradual training. So here uh, we see that uh, um, it says that the, um, uh, then there are, uh, I'm sorry, two more categories. First, showing the root of the Mahayana uh, is path is compassion, and then showing how the six other personal instructions are either causes or effects of compassion. So the root of Mahayana is compassion. So when we look at it in the context of the seven point cause and effect for realizing the mind that aspires to enlightenment, either those those steps are either causes of great compassion or they are results of great compassion. Um, So if we look at the causes of great compassion, we would say that recognizing all sentient beings are our mother, remembering their kindness, wishing to repay their kindness and love through the force of attraction are all causes of great compassion. And results of great compassion are the extraordinary attitude and the mind that aspires to enlightenment or bodhicitta. So it's showing how First in the category showing how these there's a definite order and why because there's a cause and effect relationship there um, and and you see how uh, these six are either causes or results of uh, that great compassion that's the root of the Mahayana. So we first begin thinking that all sentient beings are our mother. Why are their mother? Why are they our mother? So the way we establish this is by recognizing that like ourselves, um, all sentient beings have had beginningless rebirth. Um, so because we have had beginningless rebirth, they have been had beginningless rebirth. At some point in time, all sentient beings have been our mother. So therefore, all sentient beings are our mother. So we have to understand the previous lives. Lesso. So then how do we establish these previous lives? We establish these previous lives uh, the way that we find it in Dharmakirti's Pramana Vartika Karika, where he states that uh, we can posit previous lives by recognizing that the uh, sense, sense powers uh, are uh, um, from previous sense powers, and the breath is from previous breath, and that the consciousness is from previous consciousness. Uh, so how do we posit that beginningless life? Because we have beginningless sense power, because we have beginningless consciousness because we have a beginningless breath. Um, so therefore we have beginningless lives. So these are the three correct signs that prove the existence of previous lives that are necessary in order to understand uh, that all sentient beings are our mother. 
So this is what we should think about, no? Yeah. Okay, so we'll end there and we'll do the concluding mandala offering and dedication prayer. Two chanter invitations. Okay. Concluding mandala offering and dedication prayer. The fundamental ground is scented with incense and king of flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure realm. I dedicate whatever virtues I have collected for the benefit of the teachings and of all sentient beings, and in particular for the essential teachings of Venerable Lozandrapa to shine forever. I send forth this jeweled mandala to you, precious Guru. I dedicate all this virtue to emulate the knowledge of the hero Manjushri and likewise Samantabhadra as well, with whatever dedication is praised as supreme by all the conquerors who traverse the three times. I also dedicate all my roots of virtue for the sake of auspicious deeds. In that pure land surrounded by snowy mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness. All powerful, Abhukateshvara, Tenzin Gyatso, may you stay until samsara's end. I pray for the long life of the precious Kensar Wandok, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts with exceptional wisdom and perseverance.